do you have a lot of remembering and a lot of stuff whirling and twirling around in your brain? And, and is it becoming increasingly hard to access that information? Data inaccurate, does not compute, does not compute, does not compute, data inaccurate, does Hi there, I'm Valerie Hall Little, founder of Built to Soar, where I help you get out of the grind so your business can take flight. Do you try to remember everything? You are not alone. I raise my hand and I stand right beside you in that dilemma of having to remember all the stuff that is coming at you in the day. It's coming at you from the media. It's coming at you from social media. It's coming at you from people you talk to, emails, everything. It's all flooding into your memory banks and they are overflowing. So how as a business owner can you make it easier to stay on top of all of that remembering? And the answer, one answer, is taking notes. We all, we, we all love to take notes as business owners. When you're in a meeting, you like to take notes just so that it helps with the remembering of everything. So if you take a note, you feel that you are sure to remember it. And I have clients who have stacks of notebooks full of notes that they never can get to because after they take the notes, then the day becomes busier and busier and the notebooks get put to the side and it becomes even harder to uh, go back in and sift through all the notes to find those nuggets of information that you're trying that you're that you're trying to access and remember and take action on. So today I want to help you with that by um, suggesting you consider using a digital notebook. So digital notebooks have been around for a long time, but they're really growing in popularity these days because they allow so much functionality. Now, if you're resisting a little bit here and you like the feeling of the pen on the paper and that that uh, kinesthetically does something in the brain, you're right, it actually does. Taking notes allows you to process the information better. Your brain just processes it. You're not transcribing things word for word for word. I don't want you to lose that. And your digital notebook is, is going to allow you to still do that, but make sure that, sorry, but it makes sure that you can capture and contain all that information and then be able to filter it and search it later on to get those nuggets that you're searching for. So there are three ways in a digital notebook, three things that I want you to think about and consider when you're looking for your, um, your digital notebook. So one thing that is wonderful and I use is a web clipper or a web snipper, whatever they call it. What it, <laughs> what it does is it allows you when you're on the web to take a capture of what you're looking at and upload it into your digital notebook. I use this all the time and so do my clients. How do I use it? I might be surfing the web and I see an interesting uh, saying or article and I clip it and I upload it. Uh, I might see an example of, of something that I'm considering to implement in my business. So I can snip it and I can save it into my good ideas um, notebook so that I can access that later on. There's a variety of ways, but this is one piece of the automation toolkit of your digital notebook that is, I believe is a must have. The second area is how easy is it for you to upload information? So when I say upload, that could be uploading a PDF. It could be uploading uh, a picture or even uploading an email. So you want to make sure that the uploading is super easy and super efficient for you so that you can upload all those documents that you need to store in that digital notebook. And the third way is how can you get information into the notebook? So can you dictate into it? This is a feature again, I use all the time. Um, if I'm interviewing somebody, I ask permission to record the conversation and, uh, and then I just record it into the notebook and I can transcribe it later or have it transcribed for me. Um, it might be, um, what are some other ways? 
uh, can you write it? So coming back to that, you know, kinesthetic feeling uh, that happens, can I actually write in my digital notebook? And styluses, which are the pens here, I have one here. So I'll show you my digital pen. So that's a digital pen. That's one example of how you can actually write in your digital notebook. So you still have that, that kinesthetic feeling. Uh, the other thing that I mentioned to my clients is still take your paper notebook in and write the note then you take the picture of it and you upload it into the digital notebook so it's capturing all of that and they can also digital notebooks can read the even the handwriting in it so when you search you will find the information that you look you're looking for so i know there's a lot crammed into shortcuts today but what i want to um, inspire you uh, is to look for a, a digital notebook do you like to use it? Is it easy to use? Can you upload all that stuff and maybe get rid of all the paper notes that might be scattered all around and that you, you know, you write it down and you forget it. So that is your action item this week and your next step to building your business so it's built to soar. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Warning, warning. Extraterrestrial life form approaching. Well, well. There.